Good evening. Tonight I bring you a paranormal story about a haunting in a house of a young kid. Or is it a haunting? I don't know. You'll have to tell me. Author name, FVCK Donnie Darko. Story title, I was mentally tortured as a child by a demon in my mother's house. I'll start by saying that I'm 19 years old and these hauntings occurred from 7 to 8 years old. I'm not a religious person at all. I'm one of those people that has to see something to believe it. When people tell me stories of how this or that happened to them, I always try to come up with a logical explanation for what they experienced. That being said, this shook me to my core, and I avoid sharing what happened to me with other people simply because I can't even think about this time in my life without swelling up in tears. As a child, I didn't like scary movies, ghost stories, none of that stuff. I was scared of the dark, and bedtime for me was a struggle because my mother would have to sit beside my bed until I went to sleep before she was able to go to her room. After I would fall asleep, I would always wake up at around 2am and be scared that I was alone and walk to my mother's room down the hall to get in bed with her and go back to sleep. The only people in the house during this time were my older sister, mom, and me. The first incident had occurred when I woke up in the middle of the night again and I got up to go to my mother's room. When I got to her room and opened the door, that's when I saw it. An extremely pale, short, bald man was sitting in the middle of her bed. I was paralyzed in fear and just stared at the man for a few seconds, trying to understand what I was looking at. The man's head picked up and looked at me as I stood in the doorway. His face was completely smooth, no eyes, mouth, anything, just a powder white face. The moment I saw him look up at me, I immediately collapsed onto the floor and started to scream and cry and call for my mother to wake up. My mom jumped out of bed and ran over to me and tried to calm me down. I was trying to tell her that there was a man in the room, but she kept telling me that it was just a bad dream, that I needed to go back to bed. I looked around the room, intending to show her, but I didn't see the man anymore. When I calmed down a bit, I asked if we could both stay in my room for the night, because I was too frightened to sleep alone, but I didn't want to go back into her room. The morning after, I tried to explain to my mom what I had seen the night before, but she didn't want to hear it. She shrugged it off and told me that it was just a bad dream. I was so sure of what I had seen and tried to tell my sister, but she dismissed me as well. After this experience, I was terrified that it would happen again. The following nights were horrible. My mother would tuck me into bed like usual and wait until I fell asleep to leave. Except now, I was faking that I was asleep, so she would go into her room. When she left, I would get up and turn all the lights in my room on and play around with my action figures, or play on the PlayStation. I would do this until it was the next morning. During the day, I would take naps on the couch, but my mother didn't like that. She wanted me to go out and play during the day, so that I was able to sleep well at night. Obviously, this led to me losing an insane amount of sleep because I was too scared to sleep at night. But my mom wasn't going to let me sleep all throughout the day. It had been around two to three weeks since the first incident happened, and I was starting to think that maybe my mom was right, and that it had all been a dream. Then one day, I was particularly exhausted and fell asleep on the couch in the living room and slept until the middle of the night. I woke up to a pitch black room and immediately began to have a panic attack. Even when I would wake up in my own room, I had night lights that always stayed on. I got off the couch and tried to use the power light on the TV to help me have a point to walk to because my room was the first room in the hall coming out of the living room. When I got to my room and opened the door, the man was sitting on the edge of my bed. As terrified as I was, I slowly closed my door shut, hoping that the man hadn't seen me open the door, 
and I ran to my mom's room, screaming and crying again, telling her that he was in my room. She gets up and walks with me to my room, and again there isn't anything there. I remember being so confused at the time, and questioning what was real and what wasn't. I told my mom I wanted to go stay with dad because I was too scared to stay with her anymore. After contacting my dad, I told him everything that had been happening at my mom's and then he talked to her and decided that I would live with him. Talking to my dad about it was tough because he didn't really believe what I was saying. He also thought that I was just having bad dreams because I was watching scary movies or something at my mother's. Fast forward a few years, and my mom remarried with a man that had three children, the youngest of which was six years old. Over the time that they stayed in the house, the youngest boy started to experience similar things to what I had. When my mom told me that she was saying the same things that I was when I stayed there, I wanted to be like, I told you so. At this point, my mom believed me and sold the house not long after. Nowadays, we just refer to her old house as the haunted house. It's really hard to talk to other people about it in person. For some reason, it just makes my eyes water uncontrollably. Personal Thoughts The first thing that popped into my head reading this was actually sleep paralysis because of the position of this man or this entity. When you're under sleep paralysis, Usually there's some kind of entity that is in the room with you. You can't move anything. Your entire body still thinks it's asleep. But then you feel this presence. Sometimes there's a being that even is sitting on top of you and you feel like you can't breathe. In this case though, the boy was awake and was moving about the house to his mom's room. That's where he saw it the first time. But it doesn't seem like a ghost either. I mean, I have never heard of ghosts that have blank visages. I know the person who wrote this was always uncomfortable talking about it or even thinking about it, which makes me think it's more of a demon. It's just too unsettling to even remember. I imagine even writing this story was very difficult. Anyways, I'm glad he got out and that the entity didn't follow him. <laughs>